Ooh, I like your eggs. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, are you yoking? You're not funny. So, Alex, sometimes you go away for ages and ages, and then you come back and you're like a new person. Where do you go? But you know what? I'm quite lucky that I've never really suffered from writer's block. But every now and again, like if I want a little creative boost, do you know where I go? Oh, do you go to the arcades? Oh, I love a two-p shover. Do you go on the two-p shovers? No, 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 no. I mean, look, two-p shovers. Classic time, classic time. But what I do, uh, I go on the Margate Art Pilgrimage. Alas, I rode down to the quench to see what I could find. Lots of lovely, wonderful things. Margate Art Yeah, so I love Quench. Um, I love Quench because I never know what I'm going to get when I go there as well. And it, there's always a good energy there. Always like a bit edgy, but always good stuff. Always makes you think. Um, also, they're really good. They do like a summer school as well. So they're really good for the community and stuff. So if you're a young person, you can go to the sort of school there, which is awesome. I'd have loved that if I was young again. But sadly, I'm not. Hurry along to the TKE studio and what to my surprise Lots of lovely wonderful things Margate Art Pilgrimage So what's cool about the uh, TKE Studios is it's um, it's Tracy Emin's studio basically, and she runs a school there, which is really cool. So it, there's a master's program, all funded by Tracy Emin, um, and they all exhibit there. So you're basically seeing like a young artists coming up, and there's also professional artists there as well. Just nearly got run over. Another cool thing about Margate, right? Is that's Tracy Emin's actual studio. Look, so you can see canvases and stuff like that. Just off the high street. Amazing, isn't it? Once again to the Carl Friedman And look what I behold Lots of lovely, wonderful things Margate Art Pilgrimage I remember a quote once that someone said to me, um, an art gallery doesn't expect anything of you. Yeah, I think there's always that thing of like trying to understand something. I think it's like innate human in us that so we have to try and understand everything around us. Like it's in our nature to do that, isn't it? And especially if we know that someone's made it, there's even more reason to kind of like try and understand everything. I think a good thing to do maybe if you're a bit feeling a bit like, I don't get it, is maybe just ask yourself, what do you like? I think Jerry Salt says this thing is like, stand in front of the picture and ask yourself, what would I like about this picture if I was someone who liked it? That's a terrible New York accent. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really cool thing. You know, just look for something like, what if I did like this picture, what would I like about it? Is it like the color, 
the size of it, the shape of it, the form of it, like, I don't know, whatever it is, you, you can find something about it that you can kind of, you know, get or understand. Sometimes there's a little plaque in there on the wall and you have to read that and then that's the context. That's not the context, that's the context of what made it. It's not the context of what it is now. What it is now is what you're standing in front of and how you're feeling that day and, and how you're responding to that piece of art. You can make your own kind of narrative or context. That's why I kind of love art galleries. For me, they're like, it's like a church, really. It's like a place of like reflection and contemplation. And it does feel like there's something bigger there for me. It feels, it does feel almost like you feel when a, I'm in a church, that sort of presence of something that's bigger. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why that comes from, but, um, I think that's why I love art galleries and that's why every now and again I just have to go to an art gallery just to make me feel grounded again, just feel like there are bigger things going on we don't really understand. So yeah, get yourself to an art gallery and just relax and don't feel like you have to understand anything, don't feel like you have to get it, just be there for a little time in your life, maybe think about your life if you want to or don't think about your life if you want to. Um, it's all fine, it's all okay. We're all gonna die. Um, just gotta carry on, keep, keep drawing. Now the turner has its turn, last but not my least. Lord so There are other art galleries around Margate, like Pie Factory and the Margate Art School. I've put a link in the description to a place I go called Don't Miss Margate, a place you can subscribe to and find out the latest goings on around Margate. Farewell, old chum. See you again sometime, maybe in Margate. Ooh, well, that was a bit different, weren't it? Yeah, I guess it was a bit different, really, but um, I like doing different things. It keeps the creative juices flowing. Ew, that sounds disgusting. Oh, sorry. Hey, we've got a really big week next week. Boy, what's going on? So, I'm releasing a single from the album on Friday the 5th of June. Ooh, exciting. What song are you putting out? Would you remember a couple of weeks ago, I played you that song on the piano? Oh, yeah, I remember. Have you put a beat on it yet? Yeah, I've added a beat to it. I'm really happy with it, actually. So now we've just got to see if we can find like other people who like it. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Crikey. Thanks. Well, I guess it's just a case of I'll see you next Thursday, then. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? What was what, so funny? Don't worry. Um, yeah, we'll we'll do this again next Thursday. Yeah. See you next Thursday. Margate